Wait. Hey guys, Papa, say up, hello. Y'all? Okay, so Papa and Mama back at you for the upcoming church services for Easter tomorrow. A lot of people are going to go. A lot of people have said, I don't care what you think. The government's not going to tell me to go worship, not to go worship my Lord. Well, Christians, shall we open our Bibles? Let's turn to Romans 13, the very first verse that says, Obey your government, for God put it there. Surprise and awe, huh, Papa? Yeah. Shock and awe. Whether you like them or think they're doing the right thing or not, God put them there. God put them there, and God said to obey them. So why in the world are you taking this big stand to go to church? Stay home. Keep your butt at home. Go to church You're, on TV. On exactly. The Go look at the internet. Um, I'm sure your church will have one up. Um, if not, there are tons of churches all across this country that will have church service up. Pick a religion you believe in. Go follow that one. It, it really is that simple. But I hope that you guys will take the time to realize something. Now, I want you to understand that Papa and I are Christians but we are Christians of the Bible. We are not church Christians in any way, shape, or fashion. And we won't be. Religion is the worst thing that happened to Christians. Ever. It was meant to separate, and it does. So, um, I think the one thing that everybody's going to notice is that you need to open your, little, uh, your Bible a little more. Because this is Easter Sunday coming up. Guess what? You heard the service last year. You'll hear it again next year. You'll hear it the year after that. And it'll be the same story in every church across the country because sure pastors teach the Bible, but you're you're they're telling the same stories over and over and over again because people don't pick up their Bible um to read it, to to ask questions. Um some something that drives Papa and I both crazy is when people use um, the verse, judge not lest ye be judged. That has nothing to do with somebody's hair or anything else. No, it doesn't. It has to do with the being a Christian and taking your brother to task. It has nothing to do with, oh, what are these people talking about well, now? What, Good what, Lord. what God is talking about is don't judge a person's salvation. Exactly. Okay? You do not know whether a person is going to heaven or not. You don't know. As far as somebody doing something wrong, sinning, God says, if your brother sins, you go to him and talk to him. If he doesn't stop, you take it to the deacons. If that doesn't stop it, you take it to the entire church. That's what that, all that is. God says, judge the sins of your brothers. That's right. People need to read the verse before and the verse after that one. Now, for those of you that think, you know, maybe this old long-haired, bearded sucker don't know what he's talking about, I am ordained in two different religions. So. And I'm ordained in one. Well, the shock and awe never stop. <laughs> so, that's what we wanted to tell you today. Don't take this stand, quote-unquote stand, against the government. To take your stand against the government is to disobey God directly. Stay home. Stay with your family. Go hide some Easter eggs in the yard. Go knock on the next door neighbor's door and ask them if they need anything. Can you, I don't know, mow their grass or there's an elderly person in your neighborhood. Go do something for them. Don't go to church. This is the only time you're going to hear us. Point blank say, don't go to church. Most of the time I would say, do you, do what you want to do. If you want to go to church, go to church. Uh, hell, if somebody's trying to stop you from going to church, then Papa and I will go help you get to church. But not this time, y'all. Stay home. Read your Bibles. Remember, it is Romans 13, 1 that says, obey your government because God put it there. Papa, you got anything else? The only time you disobey the government according to the Bible is when what they tell you to do goes against his word. 
Y'all be safe. Be healthy. Be safe. Be healthy. We love you.